Welcome. Today I have for you a very exciting video. We, I'm going to show you my favorite Forex and Grand Strategy games of 2022. Let's begin. <music> Now showing your war games and forex strategy games, you've already conquered most of Europe and maybe Japan, Americas, maybe even foreign planets. But have you taken over China? Right now we're going to talk about Rise of the White Sun, which moves you into the 1920s and you can play as every significant faction of China. And your goal is to reunite China and you can use diplomacy, different kind of schemes or just a brutal force. Now, aside from fighting your enemies, you also have to be fighting bandits and pirates. An interesting thing is that sometimes you can get leaders that actually get benefits from uh, or make it easier for them to work with bandits and pirates, which is pretty interesting. And you don't have to raise rural militia. A really interesting feature in this game is that sometimes orders just don't work because you tell your people to go and they're like, nah. We don't feel like it. We don't want to die. They're going to be like, nope. And you can also have corrupt enemy generals. And it, it has some really interesting, I would say, features that are not always so common in other Forex games or war games. And it's a turn-based game that's currently in early access. <laughs> A revolt has taken over your country, but do not fear, because you are the leader of the rebels. And now you have unlimited authority in this country, and your goal? Take over the entirety of Europe. It's 2027, and this is Europe Empire 2027. So now obviously you'll be handling diplomacy and uh, war, but the game also has an interesting spy center where you can try to spy on different enemies and also you'll have to be handling different weapon suppliers so you can either get weapons from other countries or from the black market. There's also technology and uh, some world news and <laughs> the graphics of this game are pretty funny. <laughs> Ozymandias Bronze Age Empire Sim is a game that takes the fork genre and somewhat speeds it up. The idea here is that you're going to be choosing your, your own empire and you only have four resources. Essentially your research, power, food, and money. And money can be distributed to split into the other resources. And you're going to be taking control over different hexes. And each has a, hex has a different type of terrain that will provide you with different resources. And you can use research to increase the resources. There will also be different opportunities which will give you different bonuses like research or new hexes or other things. A really interesting thing in this game is how it deals with waste because as you're sort of using up your money to move it into other resources if you have a lot of a specific resource it will be sort of wasted you on the one hand you need to have a lot of resources, but on the other hand if you have too much you might lose a lot each turn so it's a really interesting combination of like do i need to save up or do i have to use it so it doesn't get wasted no not wasted as in drunk come on we're talking about strategy games here where is your head at Now the previous game was about making the forex and grand strategy a little bit simpler by making it faster. This game is not like that. This game is complicated. There's a lot you can do in this game. So Stellar Monarch 2 is a full to space empire builder where you are the emperor and you belong into one of the noble houses but you have to kind of there are seven noble houses in the game and you have to kind of handle them all you do belong to one but it's not that you're just going to be focusing on your own you do still have to handle the rest of them there are also aliens in this game which you typically go to war with but you don't have to you can also have alien citizens but we do not look down upon inferior citizens i promise you we don't no. It actually takes us in the game I and mean, we laugh a long time in my let's play. By the way, I, I have a let's play for every game on this list on my main channel. Some of the games you can check it out if you're interested. Uh, the game has a lot of focus on not having to micromanage tiny things. For example, the combat, like it's very, you're going to pick up what kind of ships you have. You can do that in squadrons, but then you kind of just claim a planet and the the ships will go there automatically. Your generals will handle that. You are the, you, after all, you're an emperor, you're not a general, okay? 
And there is a very big focus on like a court and who is your minister and politics and making sure that you have the right people, taking control of the right place. And you also have to really handle corruptions and rebels because these are a big part of the game. And, you know, if, if there is a revolt, you might be in trouble. Oh, and the game also has androids that you can get later on, like robots. If you don't want to deal with humans or aliens, maybe some of your population should just be robots. After all, we all know they'll take over the world. But before they do, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I don't know how those two things are related, but do it anyway. All right. Now, so far, every game we talked about was turn-based, but I know that some of you prefer the real-time genre. So I have something for you here as well, Dune Spice Wars. This is a game set in the Dune universe on the harsh desert planet of Arrakis. The name suggests they're going to be fighting over spice because it's one of the rare resources in this world. It's The game is currently in early access and I actually have a separate list of Forex games that are on sale like right now until January 5th. So it might still be going on depending on when you watch it. And this is one of those games that I mentioned on the list as well. So, uh, but they're not all from 2022. So if you're still interested in some other Forex games, you can go check that list out. Now we talked about aliens before, but what if you could be the alien? We're going to talk about Distant Worlds 2, where you can pick one of the alien races, or you can be a plain boring human. But why would you? If you if you play Distant Worlds 2 and you were a human, let me know in the comments, because I disapprove. <laughs> no, you can play however you want, I don't care. <laughs> All right, so Distant World 2 is a possible retime for space strategy, and you're going to start by having your own planet, and then you're going to be hand sending out different miners to get resources. You're going to be building your own army, and you can build your own ships. And then what's really cool is you can customize the ships by when you come up with the new research, you can add the, like a specific type of a weapon or a shield to a ship, and then the new ships will be building of this new type or not, depending on how you choose. You'll also be handling diplomacy, and uh, also a big part of this game are pirates who are really strong. So you're going to be have to handling like fighting with the different pirates or pay them off. And uh, they're also colonization. Like this game has a lot of stuff in it. We're going to stay in space, but this time we'll add a little bit of chaos. We're going to talk about Chaos Galaxy 2. And this is a game where you pick one of our 12 factions. Are you going to be handling slash fighting with the other people but mostly are trying to prepare for the aliens that will come and they will kill everybody the aliens are real and i mean real strong in this game it's like, it's like you're gonna be you're gonna be fighting the other factions you're gonna feel like oh i'm so good i'm so good at this game i'm so strong i'm killing all the factions and the alien comes and like i would like to run and save my life you're gonna be dead real fast so don't spend too much time bothering with the other factions, okay? You all will have to fight the aliens and they will take over. I'm going to start with like a bunch of different planets and you'll have to handle some of the resources. A really cool thing you can do is you can build these defenses on the planet so that then when, you, when an enemy comes to your planet and attacks you, the planet actually has these buildings that you build around and you can see it in the combat. Another cool thing in this game is actually have multiple fleets fighting an enemy at the same time and the other fleet, it, it, it will take it some time so it might come some translator because it depends like how on the big, big map you can move around. So essentially you can like combine different fleets and do like two against one. It's, it's a really cool game. I enjoyed this one quite a lot and it's in early access. And I also have some guides for this game as well. Bow down your head and pray, for the aliens have come to save us. Our saviors are here. No, we must kill them all! <laughs> That's what the Humanity First Faction would say. Dare Invicta is a grander forex strategy game, so we're going to begin on Earth. And uh, you, can, you are not playing as a country, but you're playing more as an ideological faction that sort of says how you want to deal with aliens. So 
and you're going to be trying to influence different countries to sort of go with your ideology and for that you're going to be using different counselors there's also like a universal research so you're going to be trying to affect like what the whole world is researching so that you can f learn more about the aliens and choose whether you're fighting them or helping them or whatever and then later on you will be fighting the aliens and this is a real-time strategy game with pause and I actually have a guide about the uh, the counselors in this game if you're interested. Master of Magic. Now some of you might say, wait, this is a game that's been around for like forever. No, the new Master of Magic. In 2022, Master of Magic did a remake of the turn-based strategy classic and it's a fantastic game. I, I love this game so much. It's so good. A really cool thing in this game is how the spells work. Like on, you can use spells obviously in combat to do damage as is typical and you can also use spells outside to give you different like buffs and debuffs bonuses but my favorite way to use spells is actually to create a brand new unit. So you can use spells to get some really cool and unexpected and fancy units like bears and these kind of like ghosty units and basilisks and spiders and all sorts of things that you would want and you also get these really fun advisors that uh sort of kind of help you out and give you advice the combat system is quite unusual compared to other modern combat system it's quite complicated so we will not go into it here but uh, it's a little bit different than what you're used to if you're playing like turn-based games right now now speaking of turn-based games i actually have a list of my top 10 turn-based tactical games or deck builders from 2022 so you can check that out if you're interested there'll be a link in the description see you there bye, -bye.